been a beautiful day for college football here at Brown Stadium and an Ivy League matchup between the Brown Bears and the Harvard Crimson. The home opener for the Bears, the Ivy opener for both schools. Second down and three for the Crimson from their own 38. Craig's going to pass, and it is intercepted. Picked off by Archie. He could go. 20, 15, 10, 5. And to the goal line is a yen. No, they say he's tackled at the one. That's what the Brown Bears needed to get this crowd on their feet right here at halftime. A pick off by the defense. Archie makes a huge play. Take another look at it right here. It went off the hands of Barkate, and picking it up was Archie, and he almost made it to the house. Those are the type of plays that can turn a football game around in a halftime. Brown Bear defense comes up, huge turnover. That's what Harvard did not want to happen as we watched them just running the football, did not want to have a turnover. So again, out of the Kodiak package, the double tight ends shift from left to right. Direct snap to Lucier. He'll take it forward into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Nate Lucier. Great job by Nate Lucier right there. Fifth year senior from local North Providence, Rhode Island. Good to see a local kid do well here. That's a huge touchdown for this Brown Bears football team. Take another look at it right here. Lucier was not going to be denied. Spins off of a tackle and gets across the goal line for the Bears' first touchdown of the day. You're only going to get the ball back so many times, so you've, you've got to try to move some yardage and some chunks. Wilcox back to pass. Four-man rush for Harvard. He steps up in the pocket, has a man wide open. It's caught. It's the tailback, Charles, and he's going to go. 10-5, touchdown. 75-yard touchdown pass from Jake Wilcox to Matt Childs. What an excitement for the freshman from Medway, Massachusetts, just up the street here from Providence. A freshman in his first home game comes up with a huge play, but it was all Wilcox finding him open over the middle. As you watch Wilcox unload this one, and he sets a seam route, and he's off to the races. You know, and give credit to that Brown offensive line, too. Wilcox had yeah. a nice pocket to step up into to make that throw downfield to Childs. Now the point after attempt by Marin is on the way, and that one is good. So just like that, it took the Bears very little time to respond to the Harvard touchdown with one of their own. 28-17 our score. We're back in a moment on ESPN. To the near side right. Miller now motions right to left, fake the shovel pass to him. Wilcox back to pass, shovels it up ahead to the tailback. It's Childs, Childs at the 15, Childs at the 10. Childs spinning forward to the eight yard line. Nice job by Childs right there. The freshman showing his speed and showing why he's on the field right there. Easy for the defender. Second down goal to go, Wilcox again to pass. Has time, fires from Mahoney, caught, touchdown Bears. It's Mark Mahoney. He has the advantage there, the 6'5", 240-pounder from Massachusetts. Does a nice in route there to, to bring the Brown Bears here within four. Well, within five. five and if you're Harvard, do you run the football to get the clock to grind down and grind it down and make them use timeouts here on the Brown side and not take a chance of throwing the football and creating a turnover? Crowd on its feet, chanting for a third down stop. Crimson looking to come up with a first down conversion. Back to pass, Jaden Craig dumps it off underneath to McLaughlin, who's tripped up. Nice tackle made by Elias Archie. Archie does a great job there on the screen to blow it up. He's got a, a blocker out front. He's able to nosedive that blocker. That's a tough play by a cornerback to come up and take that on and make the tackle. So the defense makes a huge stop here. And the Bears use their first of three timeouts to stop the clock with 2.32 to go. If you watch right there, he's able to get around number 52 right there and comes up with a big tackle. And there's plenty of room for McLaughlin for a first down if he does not make that tackle. Now the Brown Bears with plenty of time, 3.32 and two timeouts, but they need to score a touchdown. 75 yards away and eight points down from tying the game. Now if he can come up with a big special teams play here, though. On the Brown side, a block. 
This is the first field goal attempt for Kieran Corr, the freshman. He did not attempt one last week, has not attempted one today. And that's a high snap! Corr running back to the 35, he doesn't have it! Here's oh, picking up! Have it in midfield! And they fumble it again, loose! And the Bears still have it down at the 26-yard line. My goodness gracious. Unbelievable turn of events here with 28 seconds to go. Well, we mentioned it was the first time the Crimson had attempted a field goal this season, and the snap was high from the long snapper, Jack Kirkwood. Tasco couldn't get it. And the Bears now can win this game with a touchdown and 28 seconds to go. On the Harvard side right now, this is where you've got to reach down within yourselves as a defense now. And now it's like you were playing prevent, which you're kind of showing that right now. But you really can't play too much of that and let this Brown offense take some chunks from you. First and 10 for the Bears at the Harvard 27, down five with 28 seconds to go. Wilcox to pass, firing it to the end zone to Mahoney, caught the touchdown, Bears! Unbelievable! Mark Mahoney in the corner of the end zone uses those big, strong hands. Wilcox makes a perfect throw! With 21 seconds to go! And the Bears take their first lead of the game, 29 to 28. They will go for two to try to take a three-point lead. Unbelievable turn of events here at Brown Stadium. Look at that catch, all hands, strong hands, one hand as he fouls it in. The Bears will go for two to try to make it a three-point lead with 21 seconds left. The snap to Wilcox, back to pass, looking, firing to Mahoney again, and it is caught! Two-point conversion, good! And the Bears lead it by three. Mahoney comes right over the top there. We got a flag on the play, but I gotta believe that's on the defense. Mahoney comes over the top uses that 6-5 body and pulls that ball in for the two. That is a big, big two-point conversion right here. Watch Look this catch over the top. The what pull it in. The big target, Mark Mahoney, you mentioned it earlier, the size of a tight end at wide receiver, 6'5", 240-pound fifth-year senior, standing at their own 43, standing inside their own five. They'll dump it off underneath, complete to Barkate. They're going to try a lot of laterals. Barkate throws it across field, and it goes out of bounds. Game over. <laughs> Bears win. 31-28 Brown for the first time since 2010. The Bears have defeated the Harvard Crimson and start 1-0 in Ivy play. And the fans are storming the field here at Brown Stadium as the players are at midfield. What a celebration for this Brown football team. How far they've come under James Perry in his fifth season. It certainly had been a long time coming for this Brown football team. They've been on the wrong end of a lot of tough scores against this Harvard football program. Many of them blowouts up in Cambridge at Harvard Stadium, but today they pick up the win 31 to 28 to move to 2-0 and on the season, but more importantly, John, they start Ivy, Ivy League play 1-0. Looks like Mahoney's walking into the locker room, so I, I'm not sure Nick Coit's gonna grab him. <laughs> Unless Nick can get himself into the locker yeah. room. <laughs> but that's okay, we can wrap things up. What a hell of a game here this afternoon in the Ivy League between Brown and Harvard, and the Bears come back to win it 31-28. to is your final score. Just a great afternoon of college football here in Providence, Rhode Island, and we're so glad you could join us for it here on ESPN.